Okay, this is a video. I'm going to record one more video. It's six months since Russian invasion on Ukraine in 2022. But as you know, Russia have stolen in the past, in 2014, already invaded Ukraine and have taken away uh, Donbass and Crimea. So we have ongoing war on Ukraine, war, ongoing war, active war on Ukraine for already no less than eight years. Now, the war on Ukraine started in 1995, not in 2014, not in 2022. Ukraine in 2022, a newspaper I read today, it said lost one-fifth of its territory so therefore without Crimea and without Donbass uh, Donetsk region excuse me uh, all together it equals for the territory larger than the eastern part of Germany it equals to the territory as big as four Belgian states it's a catastrophe it's not only catastrophe for Ukraine, it's a war in Europe. It's a war in Europe, make no mistake about it. The one behind this war, and that's what the sad part about all this is that the one behind the war is actually not even in Russia. It's scary for me who have participated in these talks uh, inside of this house, inside of this house, inside of this house, in fact, the main deals done inside of my room. That's exactly why they have gone as far as branding me as paranoid schizophrenic. That's exactly why. When I think that behind this plan were people like George Bush and the whole asset of American politicians, Republicans in a big way, they're extremely disappointing as it all started totally contrary to this. It appears that both tables, both poles, both opposite poles were in contest with one another on how to serve Russia's rear, uh, actually to serve Russia from front and rear. Lovely. What you see here, if I reduce this a little bit, it will let this be a warning to Ukraine foremost, which in my view, in my opinion, uh, absolutely nothing to liberate itself so far. I don't know the final plan. I sure do not if there is such thing as different from what I'm going to state to you in this video. But I remember hell all right what I exactly I was told is going to develop into and how. It's a scary It's a scary thought on my mind when I think about Secretary of Defense, Mr. Lloyd. No, it's not that I would want to put the blame of any kind on him. Hell no, he, he doesn't have absolutely nothing to do with it. Absolutely, this is not his fault. Uh, got an internet problem, so I'm gonna move a little closer the internet source uh, definitely this is not his fault this is just a man that's basically doing his job basically whatever he was hired to do and if you ask me he's doing his job exceptionally well he's just following the orders he's just following exactly what other people have planned pre-planned uh, on the future war if one would develop into war and how is going to play out 
he was one of the participants but other than that you're talking about completely other people uh that participated way before mr floyd they were in the picture uh i would under no circumstances go and push anything on mr floyd because he, as i stated he's doing his job and i think he's doing his job exceptionally well if you would hand him a different tools in in his hands and he would probably do a completely different job or whatever but in my opinion he's doing his job exceptionally well okay now the problem that i have with all this stuff is not mr floyd uh it's this location here it's um go uh, it it's um novgorod um what is the name nizhny nizhny novgorod the lower novgorod if you translate this from russian nizhny novgorod it was year you know a year was 2000 and 2005 to be like 100 percent on a dot you know like bam zik 2005 vladimir putin start to, start to dream to me about and again inside his house inside his room with americans with americans not even with the british at the time but exactly with american crew with you're talking about a politician republican politicians start to dream to me about if I ever thought about nuclear powered um, engines and stuff like that uh, I mean who didn't uh, start to talk to me about uh, space crafts and planes and stuff like that powered with nuclear power aircrafts and stuff like that um not that i give much fuck about that stuff blah 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 on other occasions he was interested in my becoming a partner of gaddafi and americans tried all their best to get me to gaddafi gaddafi was destroyed then because whatever they had a plan to destroy they were trying to put me in between it was the same thing with uh syria it was the same thing with uh with afghanistan uh, they were always trying to push me into situations where they would eventually turn my life into a total nightmare turn me into basically into to, into a terrorist and it was this was just a common american russian agenda for me they insisted on and insisted on and insisted on that's why i'm very skeptical about you know all that other talk you might have heard behind how is this necessary la 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 no sorry but there was too much stuff like this that went on for me to miss out on yes of course when you're in circumstances like this you have to take in consideration as the most credible the worst type of scenario when you're surrounded with the people like this push into the world like this you have to absolutely that you have to so the only valid theory right now is the one i stated and it was the year 2008 when he was a young russian younger than myself and i've seen people like this all the time yeah i'm 51 i'm gonna be in december okay jeff bezos and Elon musk are not a perfect examples but there was younger people much younger people that would appear all the time and become filthy wealthy with totally okay they have their degrees but with their backgrounds completely different than other people uh just an average human being that participated around the around the table around this negotiation tables and the only thing that 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 you see next is just it just become just became like i'm not gonna say either extremely wealthy or a ceo or something like that that was like frequent thing that happened
and it was it didn't matter to me at one point anymore whether it was a Croat or Ukrainian or a Polak or Czech or whatever uh, I got annoyed by this shit because I didn't get anywhere so I can tell you that this was not against you or something like this but I have gone through so much shit and watch you all arise out of nothing coming out of nowhere uh, and just watch myself getting beaten down stupidified destroyed basically decimated in pieces more and more so if if I did protest it against people like this it was really nothing personally it was just this is just a normal thinking patterns uh, it was this man who thanked Putin personally inside of my room for whatever. And, you know, we would keep coming to this city, to this Nizhny Novgorod, you know. This city, I should know one like, like this with Americans. Americans keep bringing me like a dog on the leash, jerked up, hijacked from the U.S. Remember, I did not exit the United States of America between 1995 and August of 2006. Shouldn't be anywhere in the world. Twice, three times maximum, I went to my ex-wife to Ecuador for a visit. Twice it was. Everything else was hijacking, abduction. I spent years jerked up. This MK Ultra went on for 26 years. Within this 26 years, I, I spent years jerked up 24-7 walking in sleep. You don't understand what exactly happened here. There is a good reason when they label somebody like myself as a paranoid schizophrenic. There's a good reason. There's a good, good mask they put on your mouth. In 2008, this guy went. In 2008, he started to guarantee in my face uh that he's going to be a person about whom is going to be written in the books this young man russian uh, there were two guys and uh i think this was in anishni novgorod uh, but it could be another city as well but i remember it was a lake so uh, water a lot of water, so I'm pretty sure this was a Nizhny Novgorod, uh, which is actually, it's not even essential to talk about. Nizhny Novgorod is where they developed this nuclear powered missile. It was about nuclear powered jets. It was about nuclear powered this, nuclear powered that. And the whole war was based on American philosophy. The whole war on Ukraine was based on American philosophy, which George Bush was the one who pushed. He propelled the ideology. He propelled the logic of the war on Ukraine, which were based on exactly what you see is taking place right now in Ukraine. Ukraine, in fact, will be becoming stronger and stronger and stronger till it would be Russians that would unleash a technology, and that's probably exactly what we are talking about, that the West with the knowledge cannot cope with, cannot compare with. Even that the entire technology, everything, all, everything, blueprint, every fucking thing was given, if you want, sold to the Russia, literally by Americans, delivered to them by Americans, by the British. British and Americans. Boy, the years went by in 2012. They already, Russians already guarantee me that 2012, that's 10 years ago, that they already have this thing. That it's already been developed and so on and so forth. And so the only thing I can say is that
No, no. Okay, so now I don't even know what, how, how I did that stuff. Listen, uh, Vladimir Putin had me on a several different projects that he worked upon. Uh, it's a several new planes that Russia is coming with forward. Uh, we have not seen those best of the Russian planes very much, this SU-57 and so on. And the whole war on Ukraine was based on a principle of ridding yourself of all weapons. Just as from the European side, you see they dedicate this all Soviet weapons to Ukraine for Ukraine to maintain itself, uh, survive somehow <laughs> uh, against this aggression. But that's basically exactly how Russians uh, the same way Russians is how they're ridding themselves of their weapons. Uh, and according to a global plan, they dreamed about was basically for both sides to rid themselves of this old weaponry and stop the war exactly where they charted one um, for the border, a new border between uh, Ukraine and Russia, and then together along with China uh, venture into a new world order, therefore consuming uh, we were also other parts of the world. We see the same tactic coming from the Chinese side. Uh, I, I see the stuff that Chinese are developing, coming with a new projects with uh, basically identical strategy as Russia. So basically this George Bush is scenario for the war in Ukraine was designed in such a way so that it would devastate Ukraine badly and then trigger some kind of weapon that would prove for the West, all through given by the West to the Russia, but all through proven to the West, to the public, the minds of people as impenetrable, as uh, actually defenseless against which upon which it will be signed choose Zelensky for me personally if you ask me will appear as a broker between the Russia and West Zelensky president of Ukraine till is going to be proven till is going to prove the opposite but until then, for me personally, this is a broker used between Russia and West, and it's the Poland, the one that will profit the most from within. Because that's exactly what this man in my eyes is. This is the man who is just trying to do exactly what I stated and attached the rest of the Ukraine to Poland. So it's month six. Let's see what is it going to be. Is it going to be exactly this scenario, right? So then you have unleashing this weapon, uh, a weapon rated as uh, n n no match. I'm, I'm not going to say no match, but not worthy of risk. Siding with Ukraine, we're with you, we, we side with you. You know, when I said build the momentum that Ukraine is going to start to win, 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 and then all of a sudden it's going to come this super weapon in a parenthesis that is going to give um, edge in a public opinion against the Jew. Enough edge to Russia to Russian partners from the West, Western Russian partners to convince 
public that is in their best interest to stop and make feel mentally Ukrainians who are winning the war up to then that they have to wait a little bit more and pause the war. You understand? Sign the truce with third of the Ukrainian land lost, entire almost sea line that you see with Crimea, uh, Donetsk, and go on together on a common venture. Destination unknown, like you say in a Top Gun movie. Uh, exactly what I was told scenario is going to be and I was told this is scenario that's going to be from American side American side insisted me on this scenario okay so if you're going to see something like this just understand that I tried my best uh, I tried my best to wake you up talking to Ukrainian people this is the most stupid shit I have ever heard for. Because you should have started, you should have mentioned me already four months ago so that we could start to discuss about these things. It takes time eventually to find, uh, eventually to strengthen the opposition not because the opposition is more controlled than the party, than the leading parties that are running the show, but to make public aware about what goes on. And it's now six months of this thing. Uh, if a scenario like this comes out, just don't be surprised. Just so that you understand what exactly how your war went on, what exactly happened. But no, so far I have not seen anything that I've seen a very, very little things, very little signs that would suggest that uh, Ukraine is actually making any kind of progress against the Russian troops. Ukraine is actually not making any fucking progress. The little drones that are blown over Crimea are not indicating anything like this. Uh, for you to liberate Ukraine, you need literally NATO force inside of Ukraine. You know. You need those F-35s inside clean, wiping out anything that, that takes a flight above your sky and is not Ukrainian. That's one of the things. And the second thing, you know, you need some invasion plan for Crimea. You need to be realistic about it. You need to do exactly what I stated. You need to disrupt the channels that lead from Russia completely. Cut them off. You are just in dreams near to that goal. And it's a six month. And so to me personally, the plan Americans revealed me is gonna take a place. It's now more and more realistic, closer and much closer than your dreams about accomplishing something through warfare, which does clearly not suggest is about to happen at any time. So just looking from that perspective, I'm giving you the update on the six months. I'm going to repeat to you, this is just my estimation for your last six months of war that goes on in Ukraine. And my having a really, really bad feeling about what's coming next. Uh, and maybe not even because of Daria, I mentioned earlier. You see? daughter of Putin's ally hailed as Matir. Nobody killed her, most likely. Uh, this 100% was orchestrated by the Russian government. There was no assassination. They used whatever they used, whatever they have done, they have done to get it done. This girl 100% is alive and well. This girl 100% is alive and well. The one behind this why do I think he's alive and well? Because these people are all involved in MK Ultra because I was told about this incident that's gonna happen. Because I don't think that Putin had uh, hard feelings for her. 
or her father. It's exactly the contrary. Um, I have no reason really to believe that something orchestrated was actually the person that suffered in accident. As a matter of fact, assassination attempt on Putin. And that's pretty much why. This stated to you right now, and according to MK Ultra, what I already have suggested to you earlier, it's going to be a magical weapon that's going to come out. It could be exactly something like this that could be that's going to come out as a weapon that's going to be confirmed by United States government, the so-called Ukrainian allies as a weapon without defense, ability to defend itself from. Uh, that will come out as a result of this uh, Vladimir Putin is uh, terrorist activity is a very very high probability if this is not what's going to be if she's not going to be used eventually to roll out this weapon this people here that you see here I was at this place meeting these people these very people god knows how many times including with the bill clinton that you see right there on the picture I have a really, really bad feeling that's exactly how the war is going to develop. I have a very, very bad feeling because the plan was exactly what I stated. Present a weapon based on which during crisis, during which Ukraine would be even gaining a momentum. And all of a sudden it will come this stop with this weapon that West would insist for Ukrainian to accept as defeat as temporary you know you understand temporary the word temporary truce between Ukraine and Russia on what Vladimir Putin who already had many advanced fighter jets would start to roll them out, roll them out, roll them out, and consequently roll over Ukrainian self-confidence to ever retrieve the land again. Ukrainian confidence, which through the truth and through that, if you still remember, gaining momentum, would completely obligate itself to serve interests of the West. You get it? That way, West gets whatever west wants to get that's basically they made a sale of third of ukraine to the russia entire coast to the crimea putin gets west gets they got the money they fill their pockets and on top of that they get the trust of ukrainian people under with their wings as well the all three parties with Zaglansky included, shake their hands and they go each their way. The transaction for Ukraine is closed, but it's this transaction here that opens up. My name, name. Yes. 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 Really, really. Really, yes. Yeah. In which video I'm gonna post below the link, I already have explained in a total detail I'm not surprised that it was exactly this thing that Sergey Brin, Sergey Brin, you know, author of Google, owner of Google, with his other Russian friends. All involved, all involved. Larry Page. 
Sergej Brin. This is American business magnat. It's funny. Another American business magnate. This one was actually born in Moscow. They all participated together with Vladimir Putin on the stocks inside of this room. And that's how they synchronize my uh, YouTube channel. I get the videos that are of a great importance to me selectively, regardless of which account I use on a YouTube, they pop up right on the top to remind of certain events that they want to trigger at a certain moment so i'm not surprised that this was due as the last and all about this stuff here all about this video that you're watching right now all about this video that you're watching right now is just as i have explained in the video below that i'm going to include oh as a matter of fact since i have not posted one yet The title of the video, I am referring to you to see as next, so that you will understand exactly what I mean by this. It's how black supremacy, racism, hatred, war and whites gain momentum through my case or I should rather say why that's the video I'm referring to as next so that you can understand the relation the correlation between the war in Ukraine its end therefore a new world order that everybody anticipated nobody more than Vladimir Putin so it doesn't matter if anybody more than Vladimir Putin in this video of mine, you're going to see that it was London, actually, that ran the show. For the last 28 years of MK Ultra, I can guarantee it was a London behind absolutely everything that ran the show. For that matter, <laughs> uh, I'm surprised. I am shocked. I'm terrified, petrified eventually that you know african union you know vladimir putin african african union had sell reassured of a talks with the putin food will come african union had tell putin africans are victim of ukraine war chair meets putin security african union yeah, had tells putin african union urges Euro, U, african union chief urges European Union to ease food payments to Russia. Pay to the Russia so the Africa can, the hungry Africa can get food. Hungry Africa need food. Pay to the Russia. It's first the hungry Africa, then is the Ukraine. Actually, fuck Ukraine. Africa. Ukraine doesn't exist. Senegal leader says Putin showed readiness to free what? Free what? Free Ukrainians, maybe, right? Not food. Listen to me. And this is directed at United Nations more than anybody else. Which head of United Nations? 
Antonio Guterres, this guy here, was involved since 95 and have literally destroyed the United Nations as a human rights institution, as an international institution. Not only as a human rights institution, but foremost as an international institution. It is unpermissible. It is unimaginable. You understand? It is incredible, criminal. Derogatory for everybody inside of the United Nations. For a Buckingham Palace, Prince Harry to have had addressed Assembly of United Nations inside of the United Nations. It was actually let inside of the United Nations to have a speech. When this case of mine, in which this people, he alone was involved for 28 years, never ever was resolved. And United Nations members, member states, heavily implicated in one. We can clearly say United Nations today is a soap, is a water, is a shit, it's a lie. It's everybody inside and there that sees his, her own way according to the country, according to the state, according to the race, according to ethnicity. Allowing this man to have a speech inside, and I explain in the video, I explain in details in this video here, how black supremacy, racism, hatred, war and whites gain momentum through my case. It's a crime of the century that you have allowed to happen by having this young man giving a speech. Having the right to give a speech to United Nations Assembly. You gotta see this video and you're gonna understand the correlation between the war in Ukraine and what I stated to you here about the super weapon that's gonna roll out, the so-called super weapon it was completely technology transferred from the West to United States of America, built with assistance of the West, of the British, United States of America and Russia, to end the future assault on Ukraine. And there is no more information I can give you than this here. A signature is going to be based most likely, that's what I anticipate is going to end. And that's why it's a fault of Ukrainian people alone. You let this go for six months. You kept quiet about me for six months. You had a chance, at least, to obtain public opinion. You had a chance for your momentum. You had a chance to spread the word, to start talk, to give yourself a chance. You have not. Instead, you kept quiet, and you have the right to know whom you have kept quiet for. In the video that you see here, it's all explained whom you have lost your Ukraine for. Who was the one who secured Russians, your piece of Ukraine? And how Russia secured West, their peace. Because, you know, when I said it's a crime of century that you allow that guy to have a speech inside of the United Nations Assembly, it's easy to be a hater. That's not a difficult thing to do. It's easy to hate. It's easy to be racist. Especially if you have a, somebody behind, like a Buckingham Palace, and you claim a prejudice against yourself. You claimed racism and slavery against yourself in the past, which undoubtedly existed. It's what we in Slovenia, it's what we in Eastern Europe have fought against during the Second World War. And it's exactly what you have thrown on a table. For shit. For sense. Salt 
to those that were trying to wipe you out. That's not a difficult thing to be a supremacist, a racist. That's not a difficult against one single individual. That's not a difficult thing to do. Not, not even against a nation as big as Ukrainian nation. But you know what they say? They say karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. Remember black people in the United States of America and in Africa. Remember South Africa, what I told you right now. Karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. You're going to see when Colossus turns around. When West gets their peace. When, I should say, Russia with the Central African Republic and other parts in Africa and West and China together get their peace. You turned the wheels of Colossus with this case. You did it. The hatred, the racism, desire to retaliate, vengeance, bloodthirstiness was much stronger than the values we have given you, not that you have given us. We have given you. And so be it. Be it your way. Let the prejudice, let the hatred win. Let it be your way. Let it be your way. But I told you already, you're going to remember this case. This is the case you're going to remember. You're going to remember how you destroyed 28 years of life with lies. With lies for more than just money with lies which final goal was to kill to murder through the lies you're going to remember this case what you did you're going to remember one you're going to see this video and you're going to understand exactly why this here was pulled on a google on a youtube in my face as the last then you're going to understand your african union truce with the putin deals with him on how basically it works and everything it's going to come to you it's going to come to you too late way too late but i guarantee you it will come to you for the cost of your heads so in my opinion what you can what you can bet on welcome to the news hour. if it's not going to be this time here at, her name was Daria Dugina. If it's not going to be this here, you understand? That Putin is going to roll out this truce weapon, which West alone is going to convince you that it's in your best interest to just sign truce with the Russia. A moment, momentary, temporary truce. You know, temporary truce. And rather be grateful for what West have offered you, right? For the loss of third of the country, entire coast, Crimea and everything. On what Vladimir Putin is gonna roll out a lot of impressive airplanes, all the airplanes technology that United States of America, British West have supplied Vladimir Putin, China with, are gonna be rolled out now. So if you think you have seen you're going to see that you have seen nothing. And you're going to see some real action down on African continent and in other parts of the world. That's, that's where we are heading at. Thank you very much for watching this video. As always, uh, take care of yourself. This uh, technology, uh, war technology, after a takeover, this wasn't in in it only for Russia, as I stated. So you have your new J-35. You're talking about planes already developed some time ago. And just basically waiting for some conflict, something to develop. And use this planes to follow analysis. up afterwards is very uh, reassuring assuring that there is nothing anyone can do fighter. i will play it again so you don't have to rewind
it, it's not about this to fighter jets only it's not about this to fighter jets has been already developed for some time no sir it's not about this stuff only this this has been it's about several other uh, airplanes fighter jets uh, bombers all sorts of planes jets that I have not seen rolled out yet yet I know they work on this project for a very very long time and it's just a matter of time uh, when something like this is eventually gonna seal the deal come out after what I stated the case is gonna be I think both China and Russia follow that exact same pattern I was told is gonna take place uh, I don't know anything about anybody anybody being freaked out if uh, anybody would be freaked out they wouldn't be doing uh, stuff there that's taking place it would be different nobody really is actually freaked out they all have arranged there's nothing that's happening nothing that's happening that would be uh, a surprise to anyone all the sides prior to the major conflicts completely agreed upon uh, on how to pursue certain moves of the superpowers the superpowers don't just go and do something that knowing that can uh, endanger entire world they are in agreement with one another but in this case as I stated Ukraine is guilty by itself is is Ukrainian fault you had a chance you uh you had opportunity to act on time uh yet you have settled for some kind of packages uh yet you have settled Hello, for some everyone. kind of Welcome to greatest uh, military. soccer game type of uh relation Work on, on a working version of checkmate has been ongoing since the early design stages mm -hmm. The unmanned version can be treated together with a single seat aircraft. The potential for flight. I don't I don't know anything else I would say to this. I would add to this stuff. It's gonna be It's gonna be more than war in Ukraine, I think. As soon as this is gonna be done, as soon as this deal gets closed, it's gonna be many other deals that are gonna follow up with this. Because as I stated all this stuff is well 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 agreed upon one with one another yeah this here this this is the speech of Prince William uh, Prince Harry inside of the United Nations without closing this case being held responsible respond to accusation of this case with United Nations boss Antonio Guterres, World Health Organization boss Gebre Jesus Adanom, uh, involved in this stuff since 1995, we, we can clearly say United Nations does not exist, and we can say that everything that agency claims stands for was thrown on a Russian roulette everything that pertains to the World War II outcome because which purpose the agency was established for to keep it that way was thrown on a Russian roulette flushed down the toilet with people heads of United Nations World Health Organization deliberately violating its principles its code not only of ethics but purpose of why agency was established in the first place now Prince Harry has addressed the United Nations overnight to mark Nelson Mandela Day the Duke of Sussex arrived hand in hand with his wife Meghan Markle for the couple's first public appearance since the Queen's Jubilee last month the Prince spoke about the long-lasting legacy of Mr Mandela 
But this stuff, as I stated, this is related to the following video, which link you're going to see right below this video. I'm going to include one below this video, and you got to see it to understand exactly where I'm at, because it's very much related to this issue. For me, there's one photo in particular that stands out. On my wall and in my heart every day is an image of my mother and Mandela meeting in Cape Town in 1997. But when I first looked at the photo, straight away what jumped out was the joy on my mother's face. I'm going to put it this way. I don't have a problem. This is not my problem. Whom he and with whom she got married. This is none of my problem. This here is not my problem. Now, that somebody wants my curse for his or her and her blessing that is when it all becomes my problem that's when my problem becomes that's that's when it becomes a problem Doria Ragland Doria Ragland is a racist, a black racist, a black bigot racist, is what Doria Ragland is. Doria Ragland, and I know so, because I was tortured prior to the wedding, Prince Harry's wedding. So I know that she is a racist, because it was all about the racial issues. That's one reason why I know she's a racist. Even that she was involved in MK Ultra case since like 1996. This was one of the earliest participants of MK Ultra case. This lady here, Doria Ragland. That's Prince Harry, and that's a Nazi. So I don't have a problem, you understand? I don't have a problem who, what, when, whatever you get married to. This is none of my problems. But when you want, my curse is a blessing. Because the two of you are completely indifferent. There is only one difference between the two of you. One is black, the other one is white. But in between completely indifferent this is not this is not my problem my problem and problem united nations should be the legacy of united nations which was established after world war ii for catastrophe like world war ii so not to repeat in other words to stop what you see right here from entering the whole of United Nations. And now you may want to say why this matters to me. Well, I don't really care what matters to you. I've seen so many people over the course of the three decades, 30 years, that really didn't matter to them. Who eventually was guilty for war in Balkans, war in Slovenia, uh, Croatia, Bosnia, Kosovo. They knew about all about who was, whose fault was and this and that. United Nations was implicated in this case. They have seen it, they didn't care about it. There were other wars that took place in between, not in this area, not in Europe, anywhere. In other parts of the world did. And so now you have Ukraine. Ukraine is a much bigger country than the countries I mentioned and other countries that preceded Ukraine. So now you're still thinking about why this should matter to me when it comes to United Nations. Well, because maybe you should understand is what I'm trying to say. United Nations doesn't exist. Yeah, this is a news for you today. United Nations really doesn't exist. United Nations is a club of you and wealthy. They don't exist. United Nations, I could say it's a result war in Ukraine. You should at least say war in Ukraine is a result of failed UN policies. No, I don't think so. I would say this. I would just say United Nations is a club of you and wealthy. 
but the news is that it's been like this for the last 30 years so the news is no news maybe this is why it should matter to you because who knows maybe your country is next one in line more about this criminal conduct of united nations for more of that you just have to see the video as i stated again i'm going to state to you i'm going to post below so you're going to understand completely agenda of united nations where this criminal agency through discriminatory racist very racist very discriminatory conduct is taking world to you just gotta see the video below thank you